Hi guys, good morning. I'm Mariana and in this video I want to talk about a book titled Gideon and America, Repositioning the History of Modern Architecture by scholar Reto Geiser, published by Getea Verlag at ETH Zurich. Geiser is Associate Professor and Director of Undergraduate Studies at the Rice University School of Architecture and Founding Principal of Houston-based Design Practice NG and Co. Getia Verlag is an academic publishing house inside the Institute for the History and Theory of Architecture. And though the content of their books is always on point, they tend to pay less attention to the object. This one is a very pleasant exception. It was designed by Zurich-based Bureau 146, set in GT America typeface and printed in Germany by Kösel on Holman Trend 70 grams per square meter thick paper, which has an uncoated rough surface and is 40% lighter than most papers. And that is why it feels very light, even if it has 464 pages, hardcover and section sewn binding. But why are we paying so much attention to the object? Well, let's go back to the subject of the book. Swiss art historian and architecture critic Siegfried Gideon was one of the most influential 20th century proponents of modern architecture. Though recognized for writing one of the first and most widely read histories on the subject, he achieved his reputation in America far from his homeland. And this was not easy given the fact that when he was appointed as Charles Eliot Norton Professor in Poetry at Harvard University in 1938, he didn't speak any English. Language barriers forced Gideon to argue visually. In close collaboration with artists, graphic designers and photographers, he perfected the coordination of illustrations and written arguments and established a universally understandable visual rhetoric. The orchestration of illustrations and issues of layout, typography and design occupied a key role in all of Gideon's publishing activities. I have organized the layout as a kind of optical language to give a general idea of the line of thought followed. The Norton Lectures, collected in Space, Time and Architecture, published by Harvard University Press, allowed Gideon to reach a larger group of engaged individuals than he ever had in Switzerland. Gideon and America is based on Geyser's PhD dissertation at the ETH and on archival sources from more than 20 archives across two continents. It is structured in four chapters, in between languages, in between approaches, in between academies and in between disciplines. The first chapter discusses the role of language and translation in the creation of Gideon's major publications and his personal involvement in the process of bookmaking. It also explores the role of British educator Jacqueline Tirwitt and Austrian graphic designer Herbert Bayer in establishing Gideon's English and graphic voice, respectively. The second chapter traces Gideon's shift from the dissemination of modern architecture and the principles of the Siam toward the examination of the repercussions of industrialization on everyday life. It also studies Gideon's exchanges with American historians Henry Russell Hitchcock and Lewis Manford. The third chapter follows Gideon's concurrent teaching assignments at Harvard, where he succeeded in reintroducing architectural history into design education, and the ETH, where he struggled against an unwelcoming intellectual climate. The fourth and last chapter focuses on Gideon's ambition to overcome the increasing tendency towards specialization in academia in favor of cultivating cross-disciplinary scholarship. The author studies Gideon's exchanges with Marshall McLuhan, Edward Carpenter, and finally Georgi Kepesh. The volume coincides with a renewed interest in Gideon's work. Reto Geiser himself has translated for the first time into English Bifreites Wohnen, published by Lars Müller, and Almut Grunewald has recently curated a very compelling volume published by Scheidegger und Spies based on Siegfried Gideon's and Carola Gideon Welker's estate. In my opinion, this is a wonderful book. The text is very engaging, the visual narrative is nicely laid out without sacrificing extensive notes and bibliography, and though it is quite pricey, uh, the attention to every step of bookmaking has very successfully transformed an academic dissertation into an interesting chapter in the history of modern architecture. 
Ask for Gideon and America at your local bookstore. If you happen to be in Milan, check out Spazio. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was interesting and I will see you in the next one. Bye.